All right, so the next part of our session, Catherine, um, is to do a cooking meal, cooking a meal. So we're gonna just simulate making a sandwich. But before we get started, um, we're gonna do a couple isometric exercises to begin with. So when you're standing and cooking, um, or standing at a counter, we just wanna work on increasing your standing tolerance. So we're gonna do a few exercises that will help with the blood circulation, blood moving through your body to help reduce symptoms of dizziness and fatigue. So the first ones that we're gonna do, um, we're gonna do, I'll do them first and then I'll have you do them. So the first are just simple toe, toe raises. So just raising your toes up off the ground slowly and then rocking forward, pushing up on your toes. All right, so you can do them next. repetitions? Um, I would say about three. You can do all of these exercises, maybe do three toe raises, followed by the next exercise, do three repetitions of those. Just take your time, 10 seconds, ten, five, 10 seconds each. All right, the next one, we're gonna march slowly in place. You can have your arms up to the side, or if you need to brace yourself, you can hang on to the table. So I would say about three times each leg. All right, next we will do raising one leg up on a at a time. If you need to balance or hold yourself, you can hang on to the edge of the table. Raise one leg up, maybe count one, two, three. Switch legs, one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, do one more rep, one, two, three, one, two, three, excellent. And then the next is to flex your arm muscles because we want, want to work on your um, helping blood flow a little bit more too. So we'll do some arm, some flex arm muscles and you can reach out Hold for a couple seconds. Just flex in, and extend out. Raise them above your head. Just any way to get those arms, arms will be too, and to increase your blood flow. All right, so to begin next, we're gonna do a simulated cooking exercise. And while you're doing this exercise, we're gonna incorporate the exercises that we just did into it. So do you have a favorite kind of sandwich that you like to eat or make? Mm, ham and cheese. Ham and cheese, perfect. So we'll, let's pretend that we have all of our ingredients out already. We have our bread, we have ham, we have cheese, and we have a plate right here. So let's, we're standing at the kitchen table and we're preparing our sandwich. And you can, how are you, how are you feeling? You know, I'm feeling a little, a little dizzy. All right, so let's get you to a chair. Just sit down here. There you go. Yep, anytime this happens, make sure you have a chair nearby. Just take a, sit down, take a few breaths. Have a glass of water if you need to. A couple deep breaths. And then when you're ready to continue, we can do that. All right, back up. We'll keep this nearby. All right, so we're making our sandwich. We're preparing our sandwich. And the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna do some toe raises. So again, we're gonna do three reps. Each rock back and forth, heels to our toes. Heels to our toes. All right, next, uh, we're gonna do marching in place. three times each leg. We're making our sandwich. All right, and you can switch it up. So next we'll do some just arm raises, arm flex, mus flex our arm muscles, down, flex in, extend out. All right, back to our cooking. And then the last one, we'll just hold up a leg. And then our next leg. All right, 
great. Great job. Thank Wonderful. You. Thank you. Um, just to review a few energy conservation tips when you are cooking to reduce your symptoms as well. Um, to use smaller appliances, maybe a microwave, a toaster, um, prepare larger portions to freeze. So if you have a, you're having a really great day and you want to make a big pot of chili and then freeze some for later. Um, also sit down if needed. So as you did with your chair, just knowing your limits and when to sit down when needed. Um, and then, you know, arrange the environment around you um, to easily access what materials you need. So if you know you're going to be making sandwiches a lot, keep whatever you use close by. So bread on the lower shelf, meat on the lower shelf. Um, do you have any questions about today's session? No, I don't think so. All right. Well, I'm also going to keep send with you... Um, a few handouts. So first we have energy conservation tips, just the ones that we went over, just so you can have those handy and nearby. Um, a checklist that you could have near your bed, um, just goes over the steps again, slowly getting out of bed, feet on the floor, drink water, make sure you're easing yourself into a position. And then last, just te the techniques that we went over um, while, while cooking to increase your standing tolerance. And then next week maybe we can incorporate our next session, we can incorporate another area of occupation that you feel that we should focus on as well. Okay. Thank you. Thank you.